This week we've been sort of learning about what National Grid exactly does and how they do it. In. Um, our challenge was what is next for the National Grid, which is quite a big challenge when you think about it. Working with the students just to sort of think about what the future of energy looks like because there are some real challenges. Today was the day that we gave our final presentation to the National Grid. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to what the intern students are going to say. Uh, I met with them briefly a couple of days ago and they were already asking challenging questions and asking different questions about the things that we've just got used to doing the same old way time and time again. Design the assets so that it can be made to be remade. The change means taking a risk and innovation is key. We all know that energy prices will keep rising and material prices will keep rising. There is a way to mitigate that. You can actually be more efficient through, through choices that you have. And I think that's not pushing them into doing it. That's cleverly sort of twisting the way they're thinking. <laughs> Thank you so much to everyone at National Grid for giving these guys such an amazing experience and opening the doors and welcoming them in. That was absolutely fantastic, I think, to see the questioning, to see the presentations, to see the thought process that these young people have been through. Just awesome, fantastic. I was so, so privileged to be here. If I hadn't gotten this opportunity to learn about the circular economy, I would have just been like everyone else who takes it all for granted, and they shouldn't. If I hadn't have come here, there were so many options that I would well, not closed doors because I didn't even know the door existed. Other companies might be watching this now, but I'm glad we ended up at the National Grid. I wanted to be a geophysicist and geophysicists tend to be employed by oil companies getting the last drop of resources out of the ground. It's not the thing I really want to do and it's made me realise that that's probably not the way to go. I'd much rather be involved in a circular economy that can keep going forever and ever and ever and won't run out. Wow, redesign is now over. In six months ago when we were talking about this we didn't even know if it was possible and here we are having done four internships with the most amazing group of young people you can imagine having selected them, having travelled all over the country. So I feel relieved and above all actually really invigorated. And I think the nice thing came from a comment from one of the young people this afternoon which was actually we've learned a huge amount but we think we've given something back. It's great the founding partners get something out of this because they have really pulled stops out to give these young people a great week and that's certainly the feeling I have on our very last day.